Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have another fun one sheet wonder technique to show you and this time we are going to be using a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper and we are going to get 10 cards. Seven of those cards are going to be fun fold cards and three are just going to be basic cards. So we got lots of work to do. Let's change the camera and get started. All right, so the paper pack that I'm using today is a free paper pack. It is celebration at Stampin' Up! And what does that mean? That means with every $50 that you spend, you can choose a $50 item. If you spend $100, you can pick a $100 item or two $50 items. The choice is yours. We're going to use this gorgeous pack of paper. It is called the Peaceful Prints. And it is coordinated or it coordinates with the Peaceful Deer Bundle. It's got the little deer, it's got the deer punch, it's got a glare, but you get the idea. So that's what we're going to be using. And we are going to be cutting this piece right here of 12 by 12. We are going to get, like I said, 10 cards. Seven of those are going to be fun fold cards and then three will be your regular everyday, well not everyday, but regular type cards. So let's get started on cutting this up. I did make a little template this time because we are going to be doing quite a bit of cutting to get our 10 cards. You can see my little sheet here. So you can see how we're gonna cut all that up. It's really pretty easy, it looks technical, but it's not. Our first cut, is going to be at four inches so it will be four by twelve and I wish I could do okay now we're gonna take this and we're gonna create our first three cards or first four cards but we need some of the other pieces from the rest of the sheet so we're gonna first take this and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut it at two and a quarter And we want another one at two and a quarter. And our third one at two and a quarter. So, so far, pretty easy. These are all the same size, two and a quarter by four. We're gonna turn this at one inch. So this is gonna be one by five and a quarter. And this one is going to be one by five and a quarter, leaving me with two by five and a quarter. So that's your first row that we cut. The second row, you're going to bring this in and you're going to cut it at three inches. You're going to turn this and cut this at five and a quarter and take this and cut it at five and a quarter and you have these two pieces that are three by five and a quarter now this little piece here we're going to take our little reindeer and punch out our reindeer out of this strip so keep that strip we are left with this piece right here which is 12 by 5 or 5 by 12 we're going to turn it and we're going to cut it at two and a half and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut that in half at two and a half so we should have two squares that are two and a half by two and a half if your paper is just a shade longer than 12 by 12 you're going to want to trim off that little bit so that it is two and a half by two and a half square Okay, we're going to take the remaining piece and we're going to cut this at one and a half by five. 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 So you have four of those strips that are one and a half by five. And then this piece here, you're going to turn it and cut it at two and a half. So you should have two of these that are two and a half by five, or two and a half by three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half. So 
So I'm going to make sure again that this edge is at two and a half. I'm just going to cut off that little smidgen so that I have two that are perfect, two and a half by three and a half. Okay, that's all you're cutting. So let's go back to the beginning where I had the three pieces that were two and a quarter by four. It was our first line that we cut. All right, you're gonna need both of those, two and a quarter by four. We're gonna make two identical fun fold cards. You're gonna take one of those two and a half by two and a half inch squares. And let me get my other pieces in here. And you want a black piece that's two and a half by two and a half. And you're gonna lay them on top of each other, just like that. You're gonna bring in your cutter. I know I said I was done with that, but I'm not. And we wanna cut that on the diagonal. And we're gonna cut both at the same time. All right. So you have one for each card. Let's see if I go like this. My card base is black. Let me get my little cheat notes here. I will have the list of all the supplies that I use below the video under where it says show more. And I will also have the cutting dimensions. Now, if you want the picture of how I cut the 12 by 12, visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com and you will find the picture. You can click on the direct link under show more on the video. The first two cards, card one and card two, are cut. The base is black and it's cut four and a quarter by eight and then it's scored at five and a half. So go ahead and fold on those score lines like so. So card one, card two. Then I have a piece of white that's gonna go on the inside and these are four by five and a quarter. I have my little trees from the stamp set. I'm going to be using this and this, those two combination of trees and then the various sentiments that are in the stamp set. Now I left my big ink pad at the cottage but luckily I had a little spot and this is garden green. It's part of the colors that are in this paper pack. I'm gonna ink up those trees and I'm just gonna stamp them in this bottom corner. And it will show on the outside as well as the inside. Stamp them just like that. Those are ready to be stuck inside the card. I'm hoping by doing two at the same time, it will speed up the process a bit. So we're gonna center that. You're gonna put that on the inside. Like so. Do that for both of them. So seven cards are fun folds and three are not. So of the seven, six are the same as two of each designs for a total of six. So three, you get four different fun folds. Okay, so these two are alike. You're gonna take those triangles and your liquid glue, and you're gonna glue them together. This is just gonna make it nice and sturdy. And you can pick whichever side of the print that you want. If you like the other side, the plaid, go, go for it. I like the little snowflakes with the plaid. Okay, so now you're gonna take those triangles looks like I might have to do a little trimming on this one I didn't quite get it even and 
and you're going to put those in the corner because they are going to be a little tuck. So you just want to apply your liquid glue lightly or a small line of it just to the outside edge and then you're going to attach it to your card base. So it's a pocket, you can still slip underneath there. So you're going to do that to both of them. Okay. This, we're going to just put that right along that edge. Just like so. So now your two strips are going to go on the front right here, so attach those. Just like that. So again, this print this designer series paper that I'm using is a free celebration pack of paper. So you do need to spend 50 and you can, you can choose that pack of paper for 50 or for free. <laughs> I've already went ahead and did a little stamping here. I did the Merry Christmas from the stamp set and then those trees. We're just going to attach those. These prints in this pack are so fun with this deer. So now you can see where that's going to tuck under there. So you can tuck it as much as you want. I think that looks good. So I'm going to just apply adhesive right here because you don't want to stick it any further than that or otherwise you're going to be sticking your card shut. So you can kind of slip that in there under it so it looks like it's top and bottom is good just like that and then you're going to have that pocket that will slip in and out. Then I went ahead and stamped the deer and punched him out and he has a message on his tummy there. Oh what fun! And I've already went ahead and put some of those mini dots on the back. We're just going to kick up his heels right there just like that. Do the same with this one. We're going to put adhesive only on this edge here. Tuck that. Mm. We're going to bring it over just a hair more. Just like that. Bring in another one of those deer. Kind of just like that. Then we're going to take the red, I love these, the red jewels or rhinestones. Got one of my finger here. And I like to make my little reindeer Rudolph with his nose so bright. So that is card number one and two. Super cute. And it's got that little corner tuck. So that's card number one and two. Card number three is pretty much done the same way, but we're not going to put that corner tuck. The card itself is pretty much the same. I'm going to attach this to the inside. It's just a different way of doing it. We're not going to do the corner tuck. We're going to have a bigger piece on the front. I thought I cut 
that, but I guess I did not. So I'm gonna have to, oh, here it is, white. This one I didn't stamp ahead of time so that you could see the process because they're all pretty much the same. I'm gonna get the Merry Christmas. And all the stamps are in the Peaceful Deer stamp set. And we're gonna stamp that right to the bottom like so. Then we're gonna come in with those three trees. And we're gonna stamp these kind of towards the top here. And I like to kind of overlap them if I can, just a hair. Yeah, that's pretty close. They're not overlapped, but close enough. This can go ahead and be attached to our black. Again, you will find all the cutting measurements below. Now we need that other third piece. That's not the one. Let's see here, right here. And this is still from that first strip that we used. That first strip we cut at four by 12. This is part of that. That's gonna go on here just like this. So we just wanna put adhesive right here on the side. I'm going to kind of, so I'm getting about the same width going around. Now I took a piece of our black. Let me make sure I got the right deer here. I got one I know that has got to be going this direction. Okay, and then I told you to save that little strip because we're gonna punch our deer out of that. Where's my deer punch? So it is a very tight fit and actually you're gonna cut off his little tail, but that's okay because I'm gonna show you what we're going to do. So this is all that scrap from that 12 by 12. So we're going to take that deer and we're going to pop him up. You see his little tail is missing? That's okay because we're going to put the black one right over the top so you never know that that little poor little guy lost his tail. Let's see. I want the tiny. I know I have more laying around here already open. So actually we're using the reverse side of the paper. So we're going to just put our deer on there. We're popping them up. And this guy, we're just gonna go over top of his tail so you won't see he's missing a tail. And then we're gonna come in with those red, gorgeous jewels. Now this time I'm just gonna place them kind of randomly around, just like so. So there you go, that is card number three. Card number four is still from that first strip our base, this is one of the, just the basic, just like the last card, it wasn't a fun fold, it's just a basic. It's our thick white, five and a half by eight and a half, squared at four and a quarter. We're gonna come in with that nice two inch by five and a quarter, and we're gonna attach that. So I'm going to just kind of come in on the side like so. 
have a piece of black, we have another piece of our white. We're just going to attach those. fuzzies. Let me see. Here's my adhesive eraser. Picking up adhesive from my sheet here. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to stick that down to the front. If you wanted to, you could pop it up, but we're going to pop a deer up on the front. So I, it just... I don't think we need all that additional popping like that. I'm going to take that deer and we're going to stick him right like that. Just took black cardstock and punched him out with our deer punch. Come in with our little red rhinestones this time. I'm going to just do the tops of the trees. Just like that. So that is card number four. Card number five is another fun fold. So, and we're going to make two of this card. So we have two of the white thick, and it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then it's scored at one and five eighths and at four and a quarter. So we're going to take that and fold that. Get my lined up here. That's at four and a quarter. We're going to fold this back like so. Do the same with this one. Fold it at four and a quarter. And then fold at that one and five eighths. So you have two like that. Then we're going to take those one inch by five and a quarter inch strips from the first panel. So that used up all the first panel. And then the second panel we came in at three by five and a quarter. And that's going to go on there. So let's just attach. So this one here is going to come right over to this side. We just want a piece, a little bit of that white showing top and bottom. This is going to be stuck right on here. So we want a little white here and a white here. So we're only going to put adhesive down this section right here. So if it's easier just to add it to the white, just don't go all the way to the bottom. That might be easier. And then again, you're going to match that up like that. So that opens like this. Do the same with this one. If you wanted to, you could flip this print over so you have, whoops, have a different print on the edge. And then again, you're going to whoop, put your adhesive And then come in with your designer paper, like so. There you have it. So if you want a different look on that, you can do like I did on this one and flip the paper over and then you have the contrast. Either way, it's up to you. Then you have these little pieces here. We're going to assemble and attach our deer really quick and easy 
I think the longest part is cutting all the pieces because it's pretty quick from there. Again, I'm not popping these up because the deer is going to be popped up. So this is going to come down here like so. Then I took the Let's Celebrate from the stamp set. I punched it on white and then used the oval the double oval punch to punch out the sentiment and then the scallop to do on black cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and attach those to the top up top here. Like so. Just like that. We're going to come in with our deer. I already stamped and punched that out. He says, oh, what fun. So we're going to put him there. Then we'll come in with our red jewels again. And I'm going to put one on each of the tallest trees and one on his little nose. He is so cute. Now on the inside, if you would like, you could stamp the little deer again like that or you could stamp the trees. And really you have the whole, pretty much the whole canvas on the inside to work with. So let's see, I'll just take the little trio of trees here. And maybe I'll stick it right up here. You can put the little trees on the corner in your envelope. If you want to, you can put them down here. Really, you can put them wherever you like. But those are cards number five and six. Card number seven is just a regular type card. It's not a fun fold. It's, so it's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Fold on those score line. Then I have a piece of black that's gonna go on there and then another piece of white. Now we're gonna take that other what did I do with it? The other little square, here it is. And we're going to cut that on the diagonal. This is that two and a half by two and a half square. We're going to stick the square on an angle like this. So you can use the liquid glue. Sometimes I like to use the liquid glue when I do triangles or kind of angles where the glue, the tape runner isn't going to get into the corner. And you want just a little bit of that white showing. Do that with this one. Then you can take any of the sentiments, but I'm going to use the It's the Best Time of the Year with our black memento ink. I'm just going to come up on an angle here, like so. 
that can be stuck onto the black. And then onto your card front. And then I have a deer that I've already punched out, put some dimensionals on the back. And I kind of gauge this line with the side of his leg there so it's like straight on. And then we'll come in with those red. Just like that. That is card number seven. So cute. Okay. Eight and nine are double cards, meaning they are fun folds, and you're going to do two of them. Got lots of papers on this one, huh? All right. So, I think I got more bases than what I need. So you're going to start, this is the thick white, and this is five and a quarter by 11. And then it's scored at one and three fourths, three and a half, five and a quarter, and at seven. So you're going to go ahead and fold on those score lines back and forth. And then you want to Make sure that you get nice creases there. So you're going to start at that one where you got the biggest, because that's going to be on the inside of our card, and then just go back and forth. So you can see how it And then you want to make sure that you get them nice and scored with that bone fold there. Get them creases because it is thick whisper white. You want to make sure that you get them nice and creased. Now you're going to take those four strips that we cut at one and a half by five and you're going to place those one on the outside flap, and then this flap right here. So you can go ahead and attach those. I keep saying go ahead and attach those. I keep thinking that you're making them right along with me, which you're going to probably do, be doing after I get done. They are super cute. And if you haven't gotten this free pack of paper, hit me up. Visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. Move that up a little bit. Place your $50 order. I appreciate that. And get choose this paper pack as your freebie. I posted on my Facebook page, which is the stamp cam. If you guys still wanted to see One Sheet Wonders and I got emails and yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna continue on with the One Sheet Wonders. All right. So there's that. You're probably wondering what the heck are we gonna do with that? Okay, now you're gonna have your card. which is three and a quarter by, make sure I get that, three and a quarter by six and a half scored at three and a quarter. Let's go ahead and fold. Now 
Now, you want to place it over the front and in the inside there. Exactly where you want to adhere it down. Just like that. And I want it centered so it looks even there and I want to come in maybe a quarter of an inch on the side here. So what I'm going to do is just hold that down. Whoops. If you want to use your grid, you can use your grid. And then I'm going to open that up. Where does that not look straight? I'm going to line it up. That looks crooked. <laughs> that looks crooked. Okay, that looks pretty straight. Just like that. And I'm going to put my adhesive just right here. And maybe I'll just stick a little bit right here. And close that and then we're going to flip that over and we're going to do the same thing on this side we're going to put adhesive right here put it on the edge of our card and close that back up and now you have this kind of Z fold, just like that. Okay, gonna show you two again. That's the beauty of doing two, right? You can see it done twice. So I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it like this. Open that up. I'm going to put some adhesive right there and then on this edge close it flip it over do the same here put some adhesive right here and then right along the edge of my card here close it And there we have our like double Z fold. Now I have a piece of black and then our white. And this is our base, so that's going to go underneath. And this is going to go on top. So you can go ahead, or I'll go ahead. <laughs> Some adhesive on the back. We can stick the black down. We have our little deer. Actually, I'm going to put it on all three trees. And then again, on the inside, if you like, you can you can stamp a deer, you can do the trees. I'm just gonna do the trees right here. So that is nine and, that's eight and nine, eight and nine. So let me finish this one up quick.
grab my deer. Make them root off. This time I'm gonna come in with my liquid glue, I think. All right, and the trees again. So there you go. That's that one. One last card, number 10. This is another fun fold card. Get all my pieces here. We are down to these two pieces, two strips from the last strip. We have a card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. This is our card portion. It is three and five eighths by 10 and an eighth, and it is scored at four and seven eighths and at seven and a half. So you just fold on those score lines. So you have kind of like this. And I'm gonna attach it right now to my card base. You're going to take these two pieces and I might have to trim them. They might have been a little bit too on that longer side. They should be a little bit. I knew there was a couple pieces that might have not got trimmed up. They should be at three and a half. And if you don't want to trim them, just make this an eighth of an inch bigger. Ah, that works perfect. I don't know why that is, but sometimes it's just a little bit bigger than a 12 by 12. So that's going to go there. This one is going to go at the top. This has to be trimmed down to, okay, for some reason my audio cut out, so I'm just gonna voice over the rest of the video. So you're gonna cut that 3 eighths of an inch by three and five eighths, and you're going to attach that across just like that. Now you're gonna take those three little tree stamps, you're gonna ink them with the garden green ink, and we're gonna stamp that inside our card. Fold that up so you have that fun fold. Gonna take that stamped piece and we're gonna attach that to the piece of basic black. You're going to attach it to your card front. You're going to place it on there so that's even across the bottom and the sides and you will only want to attach the bottom portion. And then you're going to come in with a sentiment and that's going to kind of tuck that um, stamped piece underneath there to hold it in place. So we're just attaching the bottom. Center it. 
Now you only have dimensionals across the top, so we're going to take the backs off those. Attach that to the top, centering it, so that, that your stamped tree image there tucks behind the oval. Now to get that to lay nice and flat, make sure you burnish your edges really well on those score lines. Much better. Okay, now we're going to attach the deer that I've already went ahead and stamped and punched out with a coordinating punch. Add some dimensionals to the back, pop him up. I'm going to put a red rhinestone on his nose to make him Rudolph. One on the sentiment. And then one on the last tree. There you have it. There are our 10 cards that we created out of one 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper. Minimal scraps left over. So here we go. Here's all 10 cards. Number 10. Number 8 and 9 were the same. Seven, six, and five are the same. Three and four, and then one and two are the same with the pocket in the corner. So those are all 10 cards that we created using the Peaceful Deer bundle. It's a Peaceful Deer stamp set and then it has the coordinating punch. And then it's celebration until September 30. So you can get the Peaceful Prints designer series paper for free with a minimum $50 order. That is one of the $50 level that you can choose. Again, celebration goes until September 30. So you have a few more days that you can make your purchase and choose that gorgeous set of designer series paper for your free celebration. That is it for today. If you need any of the supplies, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. Click on show more under the video to see the direct blog link to that post and all the dimensions and supplies for today's cards. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, turn on that bell in the upper right hand corner when you subscribe so you know when I go live. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.